Good morning, Diesel. Good morning, world. And good morning to you. We're here in the motel this morning again, and we're getting ready to head to our customer where we got a load tomorrow morning and taking it down to South Carolina with us, the United States. We'll be crossing, I'm guessing, at Holton, Maine from Woodstock, New Brunswick, and making our way down the East Coast again through all their lovely, beautiful, wonderful traffic that I'm so envious of. I wish I could live in such a congested kerfluffle of a place every day. Honestly, I don't know how you guys do it. I don't know how you guys do it. There. I could not deal with that many people around me all the time. You know, being able to hear my neighbors is bad enough. But being able to like reach through my window and touch them, that's just too close. Sure is a beautiful day out here. Look at this sunshine. Oh, it'd be a great day to be driving. Too bad we're stuck here. I'd rather be on the road moving. So I'm gonna put diesel into the truck here right away. He's turned it on so there's air conditioning and he's not left alone in the, in the room there. I've gotta do some work inside the trailer here. Uh, we have a double decker system in this trailer. I have two floors. You can haul all the more freight, right? But for this next load, I only need the one floor, so I need to get rid of the, the upper floor. My last load, I needed both of them. Come on, bud, we're gonna put you in the truck for a bit, okay? Hi. Good boy, you're gonna wait in here while I clean up the trailer, okay? So as you can see here, I've gotta clean this whole trailer up real good for our next load yet. And there's that second floor that I've gotta take down. So let's see how fast I can get this done. Drag myself in here. Okay. I would take my hat off because I don't want to get my hat all full of dirt and sweat if I don't have to. It's my good hat. And then I always start from the front and work my way back. So let's get it done. I'll need my little tool here. These don't matter where I start, though. Uh, fold these up. Now that that's done, I am done. All the work I have to do for today. Oh, well, it's not actually work. I just needed to get that done before. Well, I could do it tomorrow morning. Could have done it yesterday. I chose to do it today. Why not, right? Whew, I am losing my hair like crazy. Oh, well, what you gonna do? Pretty soon I'll be bald, Trucker Josh. Oh, well. Now you're thirsty. A little hot out there, wasn't it? You'd think it would be cooler up here in Canada, nay nay. Though, 
Today when I'm filming this, British Columbia got their first snowfall in the mountains. Uh, I believe it was in the, what was around Kelowna? The interior anyways got a, a snowfall today. Gotta wash these hands. Oh, I'm getting my camera all dirty too. You ready? <laughs> this on his nose here, if you guys are wondering, is just uh, it's a little uh, device I put on when we go for walks in public and down the sidewalk. All it does is when uh, he pulls on his leash, it pulls his nose down and slows him down. So this way he doesn't pull on his leash. Uh, he does have a little bit of a pulling problem, though he's gotten a lot better over the years, a lot, lot better. But this way, just if he sees a squirrel or sees someone he really wants to say hi to or another dog, he doesn't go lunging to the end of his leash right away. He sort of has that hesitation and it's just easier to control him. And people around me feel safer as well. They think it's a muzzle. It's not a muzzle. Right, Diesel? I know it's not the most comfortable thing, but it helps a lot. We're gonna go on a walk. So I can hear. Now wait, Diesel. I got the key. Okay, go. Good boy. Oh, it's good to get out into the fresh air. I don't know where we're gonna walk to. We'll probably go down somewhere where we can see the water. It's a huge river just on the other side of those trees over there. There's the river. I'm trying to find a way that I can get closer to it without dying. Diesel, you can probably get down there. You got a four wheel drive. Man, I, I don't, I would go down here if I didn't have the dog. Maybe I should send you down first or wait for you. I don't know. Nah, I won't go down. That's pretty steep. We'll find another way down to the water, hopefully. We're just on the main road here through Miramichi. Just across from there. Chevrolet dealership, if you're familiar with the area. Nice red Chevy right there. Oh. Good boy, Diesel. Stop pulling, buddy. I know you're excited. I'm excited too. I'm trying to get a little bit of physical activity in for myself. You know, even if it's just a walk uptown, it's better than just sitting in the room the entire day and night, and then day and night again, and then day and night again, without moving, you know? My entire life, I was like a skinny little stick. I needed to gain weight. And now over the past, you know, decade of me driving truck, especially over the last five years of me driving long distance with very little physical activity, I've gotten up to a weight that I'm happy with. I don't feel like a skinny little stick anymore. However, I don't want it to go past this either. I don't want to, I don't want to continue gaining weight. So a little bit of physical activity always helps. I don't want to be one of those, you know, picky diet eating people either. I don't want to have to watch what I eat. I just want to burn enough calories doing what I do on a regular basis to maintain a normal healthy body weight. Diesel here, he's the one that needs to gain weight. We're trying, we're trying. We're feeding him as much as we can. Trying to get him to gain weight without, you know, feeding him too much. That's a problem too. But here we are in uh, just a little further down the road here in Miramichi. That big river is just behind all of these houses here on our left. Got going a little late. The sun is already setting. Sure is beautiful though. It's a nice, nice evening for a walk. Most definitely. Having the perfect body was never really my, my goal. Just the fact that I get winded quicker running upstairs now, that's what bothers me. I just want to be more in shape so that, you know, I could run further, get more done without losing my breath. That's the only thing I'm worried about, so. If I just go on a regular walk every day, which I wish I had time for, it would help quite a bit towards that goal. That's the kind of red October tree that I'm talking about here in New Brunswick. Isn't that beautiful? Wow, this is bright red. Bright red. A lot of these trees haven't even started changing color yet. Man. Diesel, we should have left sooner. It's gonna be dark right away. Well, we made it down here to the river walk. Miramichi. They got this anchor here in remembrance or in remembrance of the pioneer ships that came down the Miramichi River here. 
all the way down here. The, they were uh, from before the turn of the century. There were sailing ships. And they came down this river here when there's nothing here yet. And now look at everything. Come quite a long ways. Even though this is a pretty small town here, but yeah, that plaque right there says that this is in memory of the old pioneer sailing ships. That's pretty cool, eh? I see a dock over there. I wonder if we can get out there to the dock? We can either go this way or we can go that way. This way looks more exciting. Let's go see if we can get onto that dock. That'd be cool. Even their play structures here for the kids are built like an old sail ship, eh? That's pretty cool. I see this here too. They got a little uh, pier, I guess you would call it. A little community place by the river here is also in the shape of a old style sailing ship. Oh, I found the way onto the dock. Oh, this is freaky. Squeaky. This is a floating dock. Floating docks always freak me out. Look at that. Oh, that's amazing. What a good shot. Attention. Boat docking two hours only. No overnight mooring. Well, what about that guy? Let's see where this goes. I'm guessing this goes all the way around here. <laughs> this doesn't feel very good. Oh, there's lots of people coming over there. Let's be honest now. Water makes me a little nervous. I'm a prairie boy. I'm not used to these docks and stuff. And obviously this is a maritime province. As you can see, it looks like I'm on a ship right now, eh? <laughs> but yeah, just behind me is that long dock that we wanted to get down or walk down. So let's go see what happens. Hopefully I don't fall in. These things make me so nervous. Diesel, how you doing? You freaked out too? <laughs> the ground is moving, man. The ground is moving. Whew. Yeah, can you see that? How it's shaking? Yikes. I want to walk out to the end of it. Diesel, we're going to make it all the way to the end. Because we're men. Because we're men. This is freaky. Look at this. There's like huge gaps in here. Can you see that? It's probably too dark for the camera. Sorry, guys. I'll just keep pointing it here. All I can say is this thing is creepy. Every time I get onto a new section, it creaks and groans, shaking all over the place. We'll get there, Diesel. We're almost there. Almost there. Okay. We gotta do this to prove our manliness. Come on. We can do this. Are you afraid? I'm not scared. Whew. Floating on the water. It would be better if it wouldn't move around so much. But we're doing good. We're doing good. Here we go, Diesel. We made it. All the way to the end. I guess those poles just stop it from uh, being pushed into shore. That's a long dock, eh? Yikes. Well, we made it. Let the vlog state, let the record state. We're standing in the middle of the lake. Oh, <laughs> it feels like it's gonna tip backwards. It's leaning that way so much for some reason. All right, we're gonna get a couple, a couple of pictures and we'll get out of here. Here they got a historic little remake of the original town, I'm guessing right on the river here. That boat also offers a sort of river tour, sort of similar to what we did with Mom in Winnipeg. Got that boat's a little bit bigger. So take touring to the max. I would love to go on that, that would be fun. Maybe next time we have a, a reset in Miramichi, if that ever happens again, and they're running a tour, maybe we'll go on a tour. But this is what's most interesting to me. You can see some older buildings back there as well. Oh yeah, you can sit and enjoy your ice cream from Brandy's Dairy Delight, I guess. Eastwind gift shop, coffee shop there. You sit down right here on the benches here and just enjoy the lake. Oh, that's nice. That is really nice. Ooh, I see public washrooms up there. That's what it says there. I wonder if they're open this late? So it just came from the washrooms there. Like this all looks like it's brand new, you know? It's probably exactly how it looked in like the 1800s or whenever they settled this here. There's a lighthouse. This is obviously an attempt to recreate the original waterfront in Miramichi, I think. Or at least recreate, you know, like the, the pioneer days. Sort of like a heritage place where people come and hang out in the evenings and weekends and whatnot and for tourists. Very nicely done, though. 
can tell that the architecture is either built to look old or it is actually old and they've renovated to look like it was built yesterday. Very well taken care of, very, very clean. So you have to come check it out if you ever come to Miramichi. And that lighthouse, it's right behind me there. I wonder if that's the original lighthouse, if they actually used this when they came down the river to locate the town. I wonder, maybe there's a plaque around there somewhere. Well, I walked around the whole thing and I don't see any plaque explaining what it is or if we can even go inside sometimes. Maybe they open it up for tours during the day. I'd sort of like to know what it looks like inside a lighthouse. Never been inside one before. I think it's time to start heading back though, Diesel, hey? Let's see if we can find our way back. Get back onto the main drag and then I'll be able to find where my motel is. What a nice night. This is the front of that whole row of buildings. And you see they got older buildings here too. I wonder if those are the original buildings from the original town. They look older, you know? Fascinating. I'd love to know more about what this place is here. Whoever knows more about this place, tell me in the comments. Sorry it's so dark. Aha! Uh -huh. I don't know if you can see this or not. But that was the Ritchie Wharf. I don't know what that means, but that's what they call it, the Ritchie Wharf. Okay. Now for the long trek back home. Well, home to the motel. And that's that. That's that, Diesel. Need some water? I'll fill that up for you right now. All right, the easiest way to do this bathtub here, so. A little bit. Oh yeah, that's good. That's good, eh, Diesel? You need some water after a walk like that. All right, stay right back down there. Oh, have at it, buddy, have at it. Oh yeah, that's good, that's good. It's nice cold water. You did really good on that walk, buddy. Really good, good job. And that's where I'm going to end tonight. I'm tired. I'm going to have a shower, get to bed, and tomorrow morning we go pick up our load and we're headed south down towards South Carolina, USA. You excited? I'm excited. Look, this is my excited face. See you tomorrow, anytime after 4 a.m. Central Time, right here on YouTube. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Helps a lot so you don't miss a video. Also, Makes me feel really good. Hit that like button if you want to make me feel really good. And if you didn't like the vlog, hit that like button anyway. Just because. Just do it. He's eating my last piece of pizza before we go. Diesel, you're eating it wrong. He eats all the toppings first. And then he eats a crust after. You gotta eat it all together, man. Now you're gonna just... It's just gonna be dry crust left. I'll see you tomorrow.